Okay, so here we have a Sailor Fude nib. Uh, I have reviewed Fude nibs in the past, but if you are not familiar with that, this is basically a nib that looks like it has had a bad day at work and has been dropped. Uh, but they are supposed to look like this, with a curved upward shape. And the fun in that is that you can use it as you can use a brush. Uh, so this happens to be a Sailor Profit fountain pen, but let's, uh, let's look at what this nib does. Now I'm going to reverse it, I'm going to start with the underside. It's very dry. Let me prime that a bit. That's better. So here we have the Sailor Fude. And um, you can write with it like that. It's uh, very hard and it doesn't flow too well, I find. But of course, the real trick is using it the way it should be used. And then, depending on the angle, you get this enormous line. And you can fiddle around a bit to find a sweet spot. Um, but as you can see, this really simulates using a brush and of course that's what it's designed for to simulate a brush that is used in Asian calligraphy. Um, you can play around as I said a bit with the angle so if you really use it upside down it's very dry. You can also really hold it almost perpendicular to the paper. I'm just going to write dogs and foxes. I would say you are already in a very good medium range here in normal nib terms. And if you really put the whole thing flat to the paper, uh, then you get this very wide line. Dogs wide. Very interesting, very fascinating concept. Uh, of course you get the most out of it if you do either Asian calligraphy or uh, some type of art. Uh, for normal everyday writing I would not recommend this nib. So that's all. Let's do it. Hope this was useful. On to the next.